Did you get the sense that they felt embarrassed last night after the game? No. I, I heard a lot of tipping of the cap to the Miami Heat. That's kind of what you got to do when you get your, you know, what kicked in. <laughs> like, uh, we weren't ready to go, and they got us. Want to hear some? Let's hear some. Joe Mazzula. What's your mindset going into game three, and do you think it's perhaps good for this group to face a little adversity here after this? And You mentioned you know the paths that different teams take to get to a championship. Yeah. Do you think it's good to face a little adversity here, just your, your mindset? I mean, to think you're going to go through a playoff series however long it lasts and have, I mean, I, I, I you know, it's unfortunate that losing a game is adversity. I would say uh, it's just the nature of the playoffs which is adverse itself. So uh, to think that you're, you know, you're not going to have ups and downs throughout a run, you know, you're not being realistic. So you just have to um, go back and look at what we did well and where we didn't, and then you know, figure out the, the areas that we can improve upon. You know, I would say that this should not be one of those bumps in the road. Of course, every run in the playoffs there is adversity because it is difficult to win playoff games. Except when you're in the first round and you're the one seed and you had like a you know 15 game lead on everybody and you're playing. You have ups and downs. How about an up first? Yeah. How about some ups? I'm I'm pretty much a moron, right? I'm a moron. Yeah, you're an idiot. What I tell you yesterday? Mm -hmm. Sure. What I tell you yesterday? They're gonna punch back. It's one of those series because you know each other. Your team. You got embarrassed game one. Yeah, we don't have Jimmy Butler. We don't have our superstar. They got a good coach. I thought Joe got out coached last night. Yeah. Definitely. And I said that. And I said, hell of a job by Spoon. I got chirped on Twitter. Well, they hit 55% of the threes, jackass. What do you want him to do? I'm watching them switch off defensively. I'm watching different timeouts. I'm watching Spo watch the game. You know, uh, their the ball movement and the fact you had zero energy. You were flat footed. Your broadcast was saying, no sense of urgency. Final six minutes. Scal's going, guys. What are we doing? We gotta go. What? Why are we walking it up the court? I mean, you were down at twelve at one point. And you're down in the fours. Four minutes left. That's that's out of an awareness of the bench. Then put somebody else in. Call timeout. Give them a directive. Well, go back look at the tape and that, like it's yeah I know they do that and it's sort of it but you get your ass kicked last night. That was an ass kicking. Everybody. Post game, Eddie House, everybody talking about how embarrassed they were. Forsberg, embarrassed. Scal was already talking about Mike Gorman, too. Mike Gorman with the, oh my God, the oh my gods. They were holding their breath when they were missing threes at the end. How many unfortunate shots did Miami take in this game? Oh take my God. Tim McCone, how many were there, you think? No, I mean, a lot, like over 20. <laughs> Easily. But the, here's the so issue, is that too. just knocking down shots, or is that just not being aware defensively and getting in her face? Yeah, defensively, it wasn't even close to good enough. Yeah, they knocked down a lot of shots, but defensively, you were nowhere near good enough. Against the team, by the way, that embarrassed you last year, that should have had no business competing with the Eastern Conference Finals, and you went down 3-0 and wind up blowing a series to a team that you shouldn't have lost to. Look at Robinson squaring his feet, just resetting and making sure I have to. There were look. so many of these. They had time the to look down at their feet to make sure they were behind the line. Uh, Drew Holiday had a rough night last night, by the way. Uh, everyone outside of Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, to some extent, were horrific. You got six second-half points from Drew Holiday and Porzingis combined. Porzingis was awful. Awful. I, I, thought Tatum, I thought Tatum brought it last night, but I think some of his passes were, were obviously errant. You know, and some of those damn turnovers at the end. Jalen Brown part of it, too. Everybody. I loved the uh, Porzingis tries to take it in the lane, passes back out. This is in the final couple of minutes yeah. of the game. Pass it to Holiday. Holiday passes it right yeah. back to him, and they turn it over. And I was like, these two guys have sucked yeah. so much tonight. And that is a perfect summary of their night. When they turn, they combine. That was a combined turnover. I give them each half yeah. a turnover on that one. Of course, I think it's like Bambi on ice at points last night. Just like kind of knocked off center. On, not No balance. Going down on the court. Okay, let's just say this, though. What? Spolstra did not do anything magically offensively for his no. team last night. Nobody right? had them ready Defensively, to go. Defensively, they were ready to go. They didn't they, take their foot off the gas. Peter. I agree. But, like, from an offensive standpoint, this was way – this was made way too easy for Miami. Well, way they, too easy. Miami did tell you what they were going to do. They said, we have to shoot more threes. Yeah. He brought that up after game one, and they did it, and still, they didn't do anything about it. I, I mean, I just – I, I thought he did a good job because there were times where the Celtics hit a couple threes. I think Derek White hit the one, cut it down to nine. They got it down to seven at one point. And I said, uh-oh, here's where the Celtics are going on that run. And no, they just squared it up, got better looks offensively, and knocked down more shots. Well, it's, it kicked their ass last night. Yes. Now you got to go to Miami. And now you're like, 
Don't give him another one down there. You know, finish this thing in five. They have no this business. This thing should not go six. Teams. The talent gap between these two teams is Don't so you- wide. They have no business losing games. I'm sorry. They had no excuse to do this last night. Their effort and energy and focus defensively was like non-existent. Pathetic. It was. That was an embarrassing performance. But bigger than that, why does this happen to this team? Why does this continue to be a thing? How are you not ready to go for that game last night? Yeah, it was super team. It's like they, it's like they they are not able to get up for the game because they they know it. They know what we know. They are so much better than that team. So I I guess the hope is now that having that happen last night is the thing that will wake up the beast. Oh, these guys, when we don't give it our all, can actually beat us in games. Like, we have to respond to that. We now have to go for it and close this stupid series out. I think it's naive to think that that's going to suddenly happen, though. It's been the last few years. (laughs) It's been the last few years, and I bought in because I thought you, you changed a ton of the DNA with this team, with Marcus Smart not being on the roster anymore, bringing in poor Zingas and Drew Holiday, and you got the same type of playoff performance yeah. last night that you've gotten over the last two years. Not showing up for a game where you could throw a knockout punch and kind of end this thing early and just take any like kind of will to respond from the heat away, and they didn't do it. They didn't do it. Very frustrating to have that look the way that it did last night. And I'm not ready to all of a sudden tell you the Miami Heat are figuring out the Celtics. They're not. If you choose to play defense last night, if you can somehow find a way to bring yourself to contest a shot on the perimeter, you you probably win the game. Can we not make like Caleb Martin look like LeBron James every single time he plays the Celtics? It's unbelievable. That hero got it going last night too. And he was awful game one. I just thought they are going to walk through this series. If you like that clip, check out more videos from Zolak and Bertrand here. For more Celtics analysis and opinion, hit this playlist. And for all the latest from the Sports Hub, download the app at 98.5thesportshub.com.